What's up, y'all? It's your girl Paige here, and today I am going to do not a tutorial, but just a look on some of my favorite Fenty products. I narrowed it down to five, which was a little hard because I had so much Fenty, but I figured five is a good number, a little bit of face product, a little bit of lip, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys a look using my five favorite Fenty products. So it was really hard for me to pick just five of my favorite Fenty products, but I think I nailed it down to the five that makes sense and my favorites. So first, one of my favorite Fenty products is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I like this one because there's three. There's the hydrating one, there's the Pro Matte one, and then this one is in the middle. And with me having normally to oily skin, this works for me when my skin is in either state. So Typically in the summertime, my skin is more oily like now, but then towards winter, it's not as oily and it's more normal. So this one's perfect. I find that it also works with most of my foundations because I have a few different ones um, that I use. And one of them is the <laughs> Fenty Beauty's Hydrating Primer or <laughs> Hydrating Foundation, I'm sorry. And that is when um, my skin is drier. And I like this if I want a more dewy look. So this is one of my Fenty faves. Another one of my Fenty faves. If you like to contour, and I'm not big on contouring, but this is the only thing I really use to contour. Fenty Beauty's Matchsticks in the shade Truffle. Um, I like this if I want to kind of warm up my cheeks or, you know, contour my nose, things like that. They come in lots of different shades. And if you get more than one, they magnify together, which I think is really cool. <laughs> so this is the only contour product I really have other than bronzer, of course, concealer, things like that. So this is one of my Fenty faves as well. So if you've been following my channel for a few months now, you'll know that I had a lot going on in my personal life earlier this year, and it left me with really bad acne and some scarring, but um, I have kind of overcome that, um, changing a lot of stuff, my diet, things like that, my skincare routine as well. My skin is finally starting to go back to normal, but in that time, especially when I had a lot of dark marks, I was looking for the perfect color corrector, and I couldn't really find anything that worked for me. A lot of the color correctors I've tried were kind of just sliding off my face or it didn't even look like I had color corrector on. But Fenty Beauty came out with a Bright Fix a few months ago. And I used the shade Pumpkin, which is their color corrector shade. And it finally worked for me. I finally found something that worked for me. So this is another one of my Fenty faves. Now, this Fenty fave was definitely a given. As soon as I thought to make a video on my favorite Fenty products, this is definitely one of them. The Fenty Beauty blush the cream blush in the shade summertime wine i was never big on blush uh prior to this when i was using nars in the shade orgasm just because it was kind of like that barely there thing not too much i don't like the real rosy cheek look i just wanted something kind of subtle but something that looked good on my skin but this has really changed the game for me because it being a cream you can kind of build as much as you want on it and the color is gorgeous and they have lots of different choices so this is my favorite blush i probably won't, won't buy another blush um maybe another color but um this is my favorite blush and the color is gorgeous you can build it and put as much on it as you like and it just blends so so well so this is one of my Fenty faves as well now last but not least and this was really hard for me because I have so many lippies from Fenty I'd say probably most of my lippies are from Fenty Beauty so it was hard for me to pick just one I wanted to kind of gather them all but then this video would be 20 minutes long and nobody will watch it so I narrowed it down to my favorite but their gloss balm cream is one of my favorite products as well and my favorite shade I'd say is probably honey waffle so I went ahead and I picked that one I had some others on the list like I was gonna do um, cupcake and I was gonna do bubble binge um, I was going to do mauve wise because I wear those a lot as well but this one I always wear it's probably my most worn lit color out of all of my brands that I have. So um, yeah, everyone loves these. These kind of changed the game. I love the original Gloss Bomb as well, but if you you know don't want any shimmer, you just kind of want nice thick lip color and nice you know luscious lips, then you'll love the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream. And this is, again, the shade Honey Waffles. Definitely a Fenty fave. 
So I'm just going to show you a full face look using the 550 products that I mentioned. So like I said, first product, primer. You always want to prime your face. I like the instant retouch because it's perfect for my combination skin. Sometimes my skin is oily. Most of the time it's oily. But sometimes it gets normal. And I'm not a big fan of like matte all the way. So this one is perfect for that. Next, I'm going to use the Bright Fix Concealer by Fenty. And I'm color correcting. I'm not using this as a concealer. I'm just color correcting. So any dark spots that I have like under my eyes or, you know, places on my face. This is where I put this. And a little goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot of it. And I like the little applicator. It's really good, especially for the under eye area. But just make sure you don't use a lot. This will help to get rid of those dark circles and spots that you have. Next, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Matte Sticks in the shade Truffle. I love the consistency of this because it's like cream, but it's in a stick, so it's easy. And you can use a brush to blend this or your beauty blender. I think some people probably use their fingers too, but I'm going to use my blender. Then, of course, the blush. I love it. It's my favorite. I'm using the shade Summertime Wine, and I start off by just putting my finger into the product and then kind of building it. You can blend it with your finger, but I like to use my beauty blender, you know, the bigger end. And I feel like it just looks so beautiful. You can just keep building if you're like, oh, I need a little bit more. Dip in and use some more. Okay, guys, and my favorite Fenty product, my last one, last but not least, is the Gloss Balm Cream and Honey Waffle. Looks good on everybody's skin tone. Doesn't bring my lips out. Moisturizing, and I don't have to always apply it. There's a million reasons why. I love it. It's my favorite lip gloss of all time. And this is the final look, you guys, using my five favorite Fenty products. I don't have just one. I have a lot, but I love Fenty as a brand just because they're inclusive to everyone's skin type and skin tone, skin color, all of that. But also they have innovative products like the Gloss Bomb Cream. They have the new heat, the Gloss Bomb Heat, things like that, things that we've kind of never seen from makeup. And it was the very first foundation that I had that I didn't have to mix with another foundation. It was my perfect shade. So that's really special to me. Um, ever since then, I've kind of just been in love with the brand. There truly is something for everybody. Um, some other products that I really like, I have the Galaxy palette, the eyeshadow palette, which real Fenty Beauty fans know about. It was the very first eyeshadow palette she ever came out with. Of course, I love all the gloss bombs and the gloss bomb creams. Um, I love their concealer, fly liner. I mean, there's so many. I could go on and on, but it's a prestige brand that is affordable, and I can appreciate that because there's a lot of brands where, you know, I pay $50 for a gloss or $50 for a foundation, $60 even, and they don't really work for my skin color or skin type. And, you know, for a brand to cost that much and be prestige, you know, you would think that they would put more thought into, you know, women of color and things like that. But Fenty has done that since the beginning, and I feel like they've opened doors and have, you know, made it known, like, yeah, um, you know, being a black girl especially, we do want to wear makeup, too, that doesn't make us look like Casper. So I can appreciate that Fenty's been doing it since the beginning. So thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more content. If you haven't already, please be sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, tell me what your favorite Fenty product is, and if you like this look. Thanks, guys.